Boy, without the brakes on, that spin's pretty smooth. I'm thinking this was seized up because I didn't grease these channels. I'm used to having caliper pins and I just kind of ignored these. But there's a caliper slide on those, so I need to make sure those are greased so they don't compress down and stay locked on it because that's what it felt like it was doing. That spins pretty nice, so. Cotter pins pulled out. Not too hard. Just need a one and one eighth inch socket and a tube to put on the end of my wrench. Here seems to be coming apart just fine. The seven thousand um, seven thousand two hundred pound capacity. So this nut is loosened, not all the way off of course because the spring right now is pushing down on this lower control arm. Hopefully that's enough force to yank this out with a couple of wax, maybe some heat. But I did not take this nut all the way off because I did not want this flinging down. Okay, the shock is off. I'll take off the sway bar. Okay, so bar disconnected. Go ahead and lower that back down. I took a, had to take a little pressure off of it. And I'm gonna take a whack at that a couple times. Probably put some heat on there first. See what that was? What the heck was that sound? Oh, this thing? Spring. Okay. So there it is. Seat for the spring. Clean that up. So, gonna 
So let's go grab the new springs. What do you want? What is it, Kitty? Your room. Let's go check it up. Make sure I'm not jacking it up on that uh, Zerk fitting. Zerk. Ooh, that's the end. Farther out, at least at on this edge, really. Oh my god, boys, we're almost boys and girls, we're almost done. Oh well not almost, but boy, I'm gonna get this done today. Maybe I get out of here today. I want to go play. I want to go do things. Besides, so sit up here in the middle of Bud Timbuktu. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I get excited sometimes. That's that hyperactive part of it. HDD, DH, ADD, HD. Oh boy, that is such a cleaner looking look. I love the look of that look. Oh, jeez, calm down. Torque specs say 45 foot pounds on the tie rod end, around 70 pounds on the lower control arm. Then you want to check the cotter pin. And I'm blocking the hole, so I need to go just a little bit tighter to line that up. Get too much tighter. There we go. I'll stick that little carpet in back in. That just can't slide back out. Slide that. This one was 45 pound, foot pounds.
And if I could put the tire on, that'd be all done. But I've got the new brakes in, and I need to bleed them. So I'm going to leave the tires off for now until I get that done. Makes things a little easier. Check things. Pretty important to make sure nothing goes wrong with your steering stuff. Need a new steering stabilizer at some point. That's an old one. Just kind of stuck in there with all the road gunk. God, look at that chunk. It's like the last owner just I drove through a bunch of asphalt, freshly paved asphalt. I got that cleaned out pretty good. I'll put the new spring in. Alright, and where that spring likes to sit, or the start of that coil, there's a pretty good little edge right there. If you just run your finger around, you'll run into it. Right there, you can see it on the bottom. Last thing to do, just in time, kind of, I was getting a little rain down there, but yes, rain has come. I was expecting this, though it held off long enough to get this all done, I'm so happy. Drizzled a little bit around noon, it said it's supposed to rain at noon, but it's like 3.30 now. Okay. 
everything's done. Just need to bleed the brakes. And, uh, yeah, I'll be done with that. I'm probably going to get some Zerks too while I'm at it, but those are quick little replacement things. I'm not going to bother me. All right, so next step's a couple little things. I want to replace a couple of the Zerks that I can't get grease to go through. Um, all done. Just a couple things left. I'll be back on the road. Thanks for watching. Bye.